Okay guys, got an old Ford here. It's just a parts car. But, I was helping a buddy yesterday and uh, I kind of laughed. He got bit by a spark plug. You know, every time you touch a spark plug gives you a good shock. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, but sure your car may run on 12 volt, but because of the coil, it runs, it converts it. This is like a Tesla coil. Um, it converts it to alternating current, and that's why you get burnt or, or a bit from it. Uh, you know, same reason you don't get shocked DC touching both sides of a battery. <laughs> but I kind of laughed about that when he got shocked. <laughs> And the funny part was, he didn't even realize that spark plug wires are alternating current. <laughs> and he's a mechanic. <laughs> well, backyard mechanic anyway. What you doing, buddy? Yeah. So, goes alternating current uh, to the spark plugs. If anybody's ever broken a spark plug apart, you'll see there's a resistor inside uh, inside your spark plug. But here's a question for you. This one might get you. Um, okay. Your car runs, well, let's say runs on gasoline, um, but it also runs on alcohol. Okay. Alcohol is what 99.9% .9 water you know moonshine why can't your car run on water everything runs on a frequency uh, gasoline uh, diesel everything uh, your um, so water or alcohol being burnable and if you search around the internet water you can actually ignite water uh, you just have to change it. You have to change the frequency of water uh, And you can actually light it on fire uh, And to find out the frequency of water frequency is uh, Movement divided by time and that'll give you your frequency so the molecules of water however fast they move divided by the time it takes to move that will give you your frequency so this one will eat your brain why can't you change the frequency of water you can yeah <laughs>